Uh, hello and uh, welcome everyone. In this video, we will try to understand the SQLize migrations and uh, how we can use the SQLize command, SQLize db drop, db create, db uh, migrations, db seed, all these commands and what migration actually has. Okay, so SQLize init command we have already seen, which initializes the folders and directory structures with the config.json file. Here, when you do db create, it actually creates a database in SQLize based on whatever you have defined in the config.json. And whenever you run the migration, whenever you create a migration, SQLize uh, migrations create dash dash name and just specify the attributes, then it creates this kind of code structures. There is up functions and there is a down function. So up function is actually create something, down function actually destroy something, I mean destroy the resources. So whenever you do uh, undo or when you delete, then down functions gets executed. But when you run the migration, then up function gets executed, which will be used to alter the table, alter the columns, create the tables or run any raw query using SQLize interface or query interface. Okay, db drop will drop the database, db migrate will run the migrations, it will read all the uh, files from the migrations folder and it will run one by one to create the entities in database table then we have a db seed so we can also write seeders to execute them and seed some data in the database so like we can see here uh, i have defined migration something like that migrations will have two sections up and down first we will take a look on to the user create user migrations i will just make it small yeah so this is how migration look like it has up functions and down functions right so returns a promise both are returning a promise what it is doing it is directly creating table and it is dropping the table it is creating the table user and this is the attributes you are adding so whenever you run the migration it will execute the up functions and it will create the table user create table user so query interface supports all different methods if you see create table okay we i don't have a access of query interface object but query interface object provides all these methods of create table drop tables query interface dot query all these and here are all the columns i'm adding it has all the validations and allow null false default value type and all these things and finally just return this so i'm returning query interface dot create table which returns promise we can also chain it uh, for doing something else it's not like you will be just creating the table if you wanted to do something else after that you can write your code here and you can do the chaining again if that execution is successful then do the chaining again and run something here do something right this is how SQLize migrations are written it has up functions and down functions whatever the SQLize migrations you see it also have a query interface dot create table right now because we are writing the create table migrations but query interface can have all the different kind of methods query interface dot uh, create table change column query interface dot row query uh, let's uh, look at this query interface a little bit or i can search the migrations So query interface dot bulk insert you see uh, I will just try to zoom it a little bit so query interface has all these methods bulk insert bulk delete or the basic we are we are using create table this is the method we are using create table drop table even you can run some transactions you can run write some queries in the uh, in the migration this is your config.json what else we have on the query interfaces transactions add column you can see there is a query interface dot add column change column add column what it will do it will it is adding a person pat name on the person table which is of type string so it is being done in the chain operations promise dot all it is executing all these promises together right there is a remove column add column change column create table drop table bulk insert bulk update uh, all these methods are available on the query interface object right now when i what i will do i will just run this utility to run the migration in the database table 
db migrate so what it will do it will just check all the database uh, user unable to resolve equalize okay so let's go to the card db okay so we need to first create it so db migrate so first of all let's do db drop okay and there is no database so db create database created db migrate it will run the migration you see all the migrations are has run and it has created us this table structure uh, you can see context post equalize meta is a table which track track all the migrations has been executed so you can see we have a task we have the user we have the context these all migrations we have now right now if you have any seed database seed if you have any seeders written then it will run the seeders we don't have anything seeders are actually used to bulk insert the the user information task information which we were doing earlier on the db dot sync sequelize dot sync same thing you can do on the seeders uh, similarly like uh, to create a seeder you can use the same command so creating your first seed how you will do it you just generate it using this npx sequelize uh, name create user seed user sorry So first I will just use put it name seed user. So it will create a seeder with the name user. So very seeder folder we have yes we have here. Now you can write your own code here like the example is also written here. SQLize dot insert bulk insert. And what I wanted to do I wanted to do bulk insert in the user table. And here I will just pass the JSON object. You can just input something here const data uh, equal to require from like data we have something like data in earlier folders let's make copy that so in part 3 I will just create a data dot js in the root folder only module dot export so require data ok I need to go one more down I got the data you can put any names underscore data and here I will be passing this data to I will just try it if I am able to succeed on this query interface dot bulk insert what right now what all columns we have because the problem we have already created is currently my user table has a different structure okay create user if you see the columns and validations are also placed so id name password id is fine email i can put email password i have created it updated it so email and password i need so let's go to my data.json file email and password right i have both the things so i can run the seed i think okay doesn't find any seed Okay, to run the seed, you need to execute the seed all right, db seed all running seeds. It will run your seeder. Card db dot user doesn't exist. Okay, so I think the table name is different, and we are using a different table name. So, users it is. So, here you can just do the bulk delete. I mean, in the down operation, so always keep your down empty because you are not going to undo this way uh, cannot column name name okay that's a problem I have name email password okay so I need to remove the things from here I'll just keep email and password that's it So nice and plain structure, email and password, what my create user is having, email and password, okay that's it, let's try it again. The field id doesn't have a default value, okay, so id is auto incremented, right, let's remove the id, I don't need id, id I will get it from whatever the database is giving me. So for that because you have already run the migration. So you need to update the migration here. 
because your user table structured here right so first of all either drop this table and uh, create the migrations again because id table has already put in the database now if you are trying to put the id value then it will create a problem that's the same problem we are facing id doesn't have a default value right so for now so let's do that so it should have okay let me just drop this table I have dropped the table and I need to remove it, this entry from SQLize migration also if I wanted to execute this migration. So because SQLize migration was having entry, I will not be able to trigger that again now create user is done now let's go to create user okay that's it run the db seed okay db seed is there db seed all oh man this is crazy created it updated it uh, i should not put it because uh, these are being added by default. Created at, updated at, has a default value. Doesn't have a default value. So what you can do is default value sequelize dot now. Default is uh, sequelize dot now. It should have this function. So these are the common challenge which you will face when you are doing this. I'm just trying to show you these all challenges you may face. So I'm just trying to generate them. Created at now has a default value. Okay. Okay, it is default value, not default. Because allow null is false, so you cannot allow them. It is a null. The hell? So then I need to go to seed user bulk insert data. So it is trying, it is accepting, expecting that I should provide the data in this JSON. Obviously, I will not provide that, so I'll just make it as a false allow null true just for now, just for testing. So again, I think I need to drop the user. So this is how we are playing with the database. Sequelize dot now and is capital or something I think Sequelize now is actually represents current date stamp, so it is I think capital N O W. So you can use this sequelize dot f n. Now for it, this is how I used to do it. I forgot it. Sequelize dot f n now. I can try it. So create user. Oops, sequelize it's capital. Okay, a lot of things. <laughs> Right, migration is done. So 
this is how we can just make it as a default date stamp uh, in the next video we will see the data of the user task and context it's going to be lengthy video so i'm skipping it and we'll continue from next video